welcome to the project demonstration of RFID GSM based Petro card system so which is a prepaid so here in this RFID tag we already uh, placed some amounts in this card and it will be accessed through this RFID reader and also it will ask for the password so as of now this particular RFID tag is come with the password of 2684 is a password for this particular RFID tag and whenever we switch on this gate it will send the balance into our phone so this phone will receive the how much of uh, remaining balance is left inside this tag so the particular tag number will be stored inside the PIC microcontroller and uh, after that when we uh, show this RFID tag near the RFID reader it will ask for the password and when we enter the password of 2684 then it will ask for the how much of amount we need to uh, get the fuel and for that if it is uh, greater than the uh, amount which is there inside the tag then the uh, particular message will be displayed on the LCD like low balance if it is entered amount is less than the amount which is in the tag then it will go with the further proceeding and particular time the relay will be on and with the help of this motor we are going to dispensing the fuel so if uh, you want to dispensing the water and if you will just place this particular motor inside of the liquid then automatically the pipe will dispense the liquid okay coming to this hardware connections so here we interface the EM18 RFID reader module so to the A0 pin of our uh, PIC uh, 16F 8 double seven a and our uh, LCD so which is of 16 by 2 interface edge A and E ports that is uh, A2, A5, E0, E1, A2, E3 so these three pins sorry six pins interface it to the our, uh, 16 by 2 cross LCD and next GSM modem we are using SIM 800 so we, are going, we need to insert a valid SIM card you should have the SMS balance and uh, better to use ATL so it will get the proper signal and uh, then proper output also and after inserting we need to insert the SIM card in this one and coming to this we are going to provide the 230 volts power supply and uh, so once the 230 volts is given to this transformer it will step down the 230 to 12 volts of AC and on this circuit board so we place four diodes those are in a uh, bridge rectifier minor so after that we will get the 12 volts of pure DC and after this capacitor we will get the uh, 12, volts, uh, 12 volts DC supply and that 12 volts given to this GSM modem directly because the GSM modem has an inbuilt regulator so which can provide the output of 5 volts so once the 5 volts is given to this peak microcontroller it start reading the input from the input module of like keypad and so ERFID reader so the keypad 4x4 matrix keypad interface rate B0 to B7 and based on this input to we are going to control the output module the electromagnetic relay so which will operate at 5 volts so on this electromagnetic relay there will be a lead indication whenever we switch on the relay particular light also will get switched on and there is a transistor so the transistor used to trigger the relay relay used to trigger this particular motor so here the flow is like uh, microcontroller is switch on the transistor the transistor will switch on the relay and relay switch on the motor there will be one diode on this uh, relay so the diode, diode purpose is whenever we switch off or on the relay so relay nothing but is a inbuilt inductor so whenever the inductor inductor coil copper coil will magnetized and so that the switch in on and off so when we switch on and off there will be back emf generated from that coil and that will be neutralized with the help of this diode okay and uh, next so coming to this motherboard so we are using uh, as is, as we discussed 16f 877a so which is uh, 20 megahertz cache loss frequency operated and this one is reset switch and this is the capacitor while the project instructions code running if is there any uh, ripples generated while executing the project due to this buzzer or relay then that will also neutralize by with the help of this capacitor and this one is a power led indication with 330 ohm resistor which is of current limiting resistor and these are the five pins are used to load the x code into this pic microcontroller okay so let us see the demonstration when we switch on the kits there will be a welcome message on the lcd screen as well as we will receive the message of balance amounts so once before switching on this kit as we discussed initially inside a valid sim card and then hold this switch okay so and then after give the power supply and then there will be a light indication on the gsm motor that is a green light is on off right so it's initially blink with uh, one second of duration once it get the signal the sim card get the signal it will blink at three seconds of duration right so why because then only we need to release the microcontroller to communicate with the gsm motor why because so if we when we switch on the kit the microcontroller will start communicate with the gsm modem and it will start sending the 80 commands 
to enable the gsm modem to send the messages so if those commands received by the gsm modem before getting the signal those commands will not be executed and the gsm modem will not send the messages so that's why we are holding the microcontroller till the gsm modem get the signal so once there is a switch after getting the signal is very important so now see there is a welcome message on your screen and uh, it will start sending the message so a mobile phone will uh, receive the message so the message consists of the balance right okay we got the balance is 5000 now and now so i am showing the show rfid tag just i am showing the rfid tag so it will uh, display the particular number and I ask for the password so as our password for this card is 2 6 8 4 so we are going to display the stars access granted and then after enter the quantity how much of uh, quantity you want so let us go with the 1000 so if you want to enter hundreds just enter the before uh, 0 before 5 so why because we need to enter the five digits now the remaining balance is 4000 and the legacy should on we can sense the motor got vibrating and also we got the message 4000 right yep and so if we show any wrong password so it will get the beep continuously and wrong password and then we need to show the tag again so if we enter the more amount than which is inside the tag so let us enter, uh, enter the password first and then enter let us go with the the balance is as we know that there is a 4000 now let us enter 4500 so low balance please recharge ok and show the tag again so then we need to it will be intimated to the buzzer as well as LCD screen right two six right four enter the quantity of let us go with the two thousand So it will be on for the duration. So as for the demonstration, uh, like we are multiplying the balance into 10 and that to be converted into the milliseconds. So if you enter the 2000, then it will be converted into uh, 2000 into 10, that is the 20,000 seconds, that is 20 seconds. So till the 20 seconds, the motor will get switched on continuously and after that it will be off and you will get the message balance remaining also. Okay thank you and coming to the one more thing i forgot about the buzzer so there is same purpose of the buzzer uh, transistor is to switch on the buzzer so we are using piezoelectric buzzer and this project thank you